Hi you guys. So today I wanted to show you my uh, gardening apron. I haven't been wearing it yet this season, but it's time to break it out because right now I'm running around everywhere trying to find my tools and usually I just carry them on my person. So this is just a regular apron. This part goes around your neck. I wish this was more padded because the more stuff I put inside, the heavier it's becoming. This is brass, as you can see from the greenness. It's got a hook here, and then on the waist it hooks together, so I run it around my back and then around again to the front and clip it closed. So let me show you uh, what I have in here, and uh, you may choose to get some of these tools or make some of these tools. So this pocket is a large pocket. I carry a knife in here. Um, let's see, what else do I have in here? Something down at the bottom. Oh, an old plastic bag. I usually carry my phone in here upside down because I'm generally playing music or a book on tape. So instead of having earbuds in, I just uh, blast it um, from my phone. And that way, if something goes on in my, on my land, I can usually hear it. I've got uh, two Sharpie pens, a red and a black. I have uh, a scraper and it's been modified a little bit, it's been made smaller. This fits into uh, my starting trays, it'll fit into the large one and pop the uh, dirt out with the starter start in it and makes it a lot easier for me to pull out. Here's a pencil for pencil needs and I've got a chopstick for chopstick needs like pushing seeds down or cloves of garlic or whatever. On my belt, I carry a, a Hori Hori tool. It is a foot long total, but you can see it's um, very, or not variegated, segmented on the tip for 25 centimeters or six inches total. It has a side that has serrations on it and then a smooth side. So I use it a lot for digging in the soil, but you can also use this for cutting so I can cut through roots or cut through clay soil and pop um, weeds or whatever out. I use this tool constantly. It's one of my favorite tools and it did come with this sheath. On one of my rings here, I've got this digging tool. The pointy end and the fat end. You've seen me use this in most of my planting videos. Clunk, clunk, clunk. And it works really well. Put that back in. Next pocket, I've got a pair of gloves, a little bit of paracord. It's also where I rest my hori hori in the pocket, although it's attached to my, my belt loop. This is a, a hand hoe. It's a hand digger, so if I'm trying to get out small weeds or something and I just need a flat surface, I use this. Uh, this is the Red Pig brand made in the USA. I think it's a small company that owns this. Really love this tool. It was a gift to me. I like it a lot. This is one of those knockoff um, trimmers or snippers for limbs and uh, plants, bushes, whatever. I do like it. Uh, I meant to get the name brand one, which I won't name here because I didn't end up getting it. This one is a Zenport QZ402. So far it's doing the job really well and I like it, but this is not the one I meant to get. There was some creative advertising that led me astray. Then I've got just a pair of kitchen shears. Uh, let's see. This is Good Cook, which is Kroger's brand of um, Good Grips. You can also get those at the dollar store. They're just fine. Got another knife. And I just carry this around. You can see the brand. It comes with a, a plastic sheath. That's nice. It also clips onto a belt loop if you'd like. And then my final pocket here, I have some of those um, tags for the garden, and a bit of paracord. And this brand itself is called Under Sky. I got this off Etsy, 
and I really, really like it because I like pockets. So it's got two small pockets and one large pocket at the top. It's got two smallish pockets and then two largest, large-ish pockets um, halfway down and then one, two, three, four large pockets and then a smallish belt loop and a much larger belt loop. So there you have it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. But these are the tools I use almost every day when I'm out in my garden. Of course I use hand tools as well, uh, excuse me, full-size tools like shovels and spades and stuff and we'll, we'll look at that in a different video. One thing you can notice though is that all my stuff is either red or it's been spray painted red. Um, already today I bent over and lost this thing out of my pocket. Um, so I just went back over my steps and easily found it. This was a brown handle. Um, this was a brown handle. This was a brown handle. It was, and this was a black handle. It was just too easy to lose all this stuff. So I painted them red. Makes it easier for me. So there you have it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, you guys. Bye.